Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be building a pantry for my wife. Now, shortly after moving into this house, we noticed that there was this empty pocket that wasn't being used. And I'm gonna cut into this and show you guys what is in there. And it's basically half finished off. It looks like the previous owner just decided to close it in and not use the space. So I'm confused about why he would do that because it's a pretty decent sized closet. So I'm gonna turn this into a pantry, put in a few shelves and put a door on this so that we can close it up and keep everything out of the way. All right, so I've got the pantry door cut out. Now I can start working on the inside. I'll cover up all the studs in here with sheetrock, spackle it, clean it all up. But I'm actually gonna be splitting this closet in half. Half of this will be for the pantry. The other side of that wall is a bathroom. So I'm gonna add in a closet in there for all the linens and toiletries. But basically this closet is too narrow and way too deep for any shelves. It would just be too deep to be able to reach all the way back there and store things and just waste its space. So I'm gonna split it in half, put shelves on either side, and that will make the space the most useful that it can be. So before I build the wall to split this closet in half and make things even tighter in here, I'm gonna spackle as much as I can and get that finished so that next time when I'm opening up the closet from the other side to make the linen closet, it'll be a whole lot easier to finish that off and clean it all up and get it ready for a closet. Something I didn't notice while I was working is I actually left a stud on the other side of this wall, so it's stuck there until I open up from the other side and make the linen closet. Because I've already spackled everything else in the closet, now all I need to do is spackle this one wall, which makes it a lot easier because now the closet is only 16 inches deep and it's a lot harder to get into all the corners. Now everything spackled my wife while I was at work, she's painted the cabinet. And Now for the shelves, I'm gonna be building these from scratch. I will cut a thin strip of plywood and use these as the brace for the shelves to set down on top. So that is what I'm putting in right now, installing these in, putting a few screws into the studs, and then my shelf will have something to rest down on top of. Now I'll be cutting the shelves out out of three quarter inch plywood, and that really has a lot of strength. I'm not really worried about that bowing at all, but I'm gonna put a piece of wood across the face of this as well. Well, that gives it even extra strength to keep it from bowing long-term stress.
Thanks guys for watching. If you're interested in watching some more of my videos, you can find those at the link up in the top right corner. I've got a whole bunch of them, but these are ones that I think you guys would really enjoy. So stick around till the end of this video to see how this closet turns out and then maybe check out some more of my videos. Right now I'm attaching the faceplate onto the shelves. This dresses it up, makes it look a lot nicer, but it also adds a lot of strength to the shelf. This doesn't allow the wood to bend at all because the plywood is tilted up on end. It's the strongest that way. And I've already put my weight on one of these shelves to test it out and it doesn't bend at all. So I'm sure whatever we're gonna be putting on the shelves is much lighter than that. So I'm not too worried about these shelves at all. Now, the, everything on the inside of the pantry has been painted. Once again, my wife helped me out with that and has even started stocking the shelves to see how everything would fit. I'm going to go ahead and put the moldings around the doorway and have that match the rest of the doorways in the house and get that all finished off before attaching the door. Now, I'm sorry about the lighting. I set up the camera and then the sun started setting. I didn't realize it was shining on the camera so you can't see that clearly but right now I am caulking around the edge of the moldings to fill in any gaps that are showing. Now this really just adds a good finishing touch and makes the quality of work look a ton better. Now it's time to attach the door onto the pantry. I actually have an antique door that's original with the house so it matches all the other doors that are throughout the house. And this has just been in the basement left over for quite some time. So I, thankfully I get to use it, get it out of the way, but also have something that matches and looks really well with the rest of the house. So I've got the antique knob that needs to go back on. After I put a few more coats of paint on, I will put that knob back together and get everything finished off. If you guys have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Help me out, let me know you guys like these videos and I'll keep producing more of them. All right, that just about finishes up this video. The pantry is just about finished. This is gonna be really nice because it frees up a whole lot of space in our cabinets and a lot of these older houses just didn't have closets like they should. So it's really nice to be able to incorporate that and build one in whenever you can to add in some extra storage space. And this is something that doesn't take up any extra space. It was already wasted space and it's really nice to turn that into something useful. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. Maybe you learned a few things and you could do this project on your own. All right, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Also, hit that bell icon if you want YouTube to let you know when I upload a new video. And hit that like button if you want to let me know you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one.